Alright guys, we are back with weekend two of work on the Z, the final project. And um, basically we're just going to be continuing the teardown. So even though we got a lot of stuff out last week, uh, we still want to go ahead and get more. Um, just so we can kind of start cleaning this up for paint. Um, if you remember, we're going to be painting the engine bay to redo all of this. So it looks really nice and shiny. Uh, but the main things I want to work on today are removing the front bumper here. Um, and then I want to go ahead and probably jack up the car and remove the cross member down there um, so that we can send that steering rack off to get rebuilt. Uh, I was thinking about it. I don't really want to do it myself. I just don't have the tools and knowledge necessarily. Um, I'm sure I could do, you know, a lot of research on it, but I want to go ahead and make sure it's done professionally and right the first time. And it is relatively cheap. It's only like $130 for the whole process on Rock Auto. So. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull some stuff off. I think I'm going to pull these fenders off too, um, but they might not happen this episode. It just depends on what we get done today. Um, but I do want to go ahead and pull off the front bumper here, and then we're going to go ahead and work on that cross member and the steering, and hopefully we can get all that off. I think I might end up dropping the whole subframe and suspension assembly, so we'll just take off the bolts up here, and then um, everything should just kind of drop down as a big unit. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to pull the bumper first. It is three bolts along here, a couple bolts up here, there's two, one in the middle, and then one up there. And then, um, if you still have your stock bumper, um, there's still a couple under here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and then the whole thing should just come right off. It's pretty simple um, and straightforward. So, let's go ahead and pull this off. Alright guys, as you can see we made some really good progress on these body panels. Got the front bumper off. That one's very straightforward. I've done it a lot of times. Um, but I've never actually taken the fender off before. Um, so basically what you have to do, if you have a side skirt, you need to go ahead and pull them off. Um, you can see mine aren't there anymore. You can see there's like one, two, three, four kind of visible um, Phillips heads. And I always recommend using something like this. It's a Phillips head on a bit, um, and then you push really hard right here, and then you can torque with there. Um, that gives you really good leverage on it, and it always comes off really easily. Highly recommend that whenever you're doing super rusty stuff. I mean, like, look at these there. Oh, so they're just really, really rusty pieces. So, side skirt comes off um, with underneath, and then there's a stud that goes through right here. And then there's another stud that goes through back here. So you reach them from the inside of the wheel well, and it's just a 10 millimeter nut. Um, and then mine is actually a, a 12 millimeter on the front. I don't know if that's wrong or not. Um, this has been a part before I can tell. So once you get that off, um, there's two 10 millimeters right through here. And then there's one more, actually there's one more right here. The stud went through, I think right there. Um, or, and no, it was actually in the fender itself. So you have to reach through in here and then into the fender is the stud. Um, and then there was a Phillips head right here. And then we have one right there. That's a 10 mil. And then we have one, two, three, four 10 millimeters along the top here. A 10 millimeter right here. And then of course you want to undo your electronics for your turn signal or side marker. Um, just undo that right there. And then the whole thing should come up, and it's actually pretty easy, not too big of an issue. You can see we have a little bit of rust right here. I knew that was there, um, but there's a little bit down here, a little bit in here. So we're going to go ahead and touch all of this up while we're in here. This is going to be the best time to do it, um, and I don't really think we want to have to pull everything apart when we get the car painted, So, um, but maybe we will. We'll figure that out as we go. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that fender as well. Same thing on that side. And then you can see we've got plenty of access to all of our subframe components and suspension right here. We can go ahead and drop that next. So I'm going to pull that off and then we can start working on suspension. All right, guys, so we've made some really good progress on the Z. Um, I went ahead, got that fender off. Everything was pretty straightforward on that side. Um, and then I went ahead and disconnected a lot of the power steering here. So as you can see, we disconnected the steering shaft right here. I went ahead and loosened that bolt and then loosened the same one over here. And then I was able to push and pry it up. You can see it kind of like squished all the dirt off of it right there. Um, so it did move. Um, we'll go ahead and deal with that once we go ahead and set everything back together. Um, but you should be able to get it off pretty easy. And then there are two lines on this side of the rack right here. They look like that. And um, I disconnect those, and then obviously that's going to drain a lot of fluid out of both the lines and the rack. Um, so have a drain pan ready. And then I always recommend taking your tire and just turning it back and forth side to side. And that's going to help get as much fluid out of the rack as possible. Uh, we just don't want to really make a mess once we pull this out. Um, so help getting, ho helping to get all that fluid out is really going to be um, as little mess as possible once we get going. Um, 
you do have to disconnect. Um, there's like a bracket like this. There's two brackets over here, two brackets over here. Um, one's for the power steering and then one is for that AC right there um, because they're connected and we don't want them to come with it. Um, and then moving on to the suspension side, you can see I took off, this is the sway bar bushing right here. It goes up against the frame rail right up there. Um, so I went ahead and undid that and then also undid the tension rod which goes in right here. Um, you could drop these down with it but there's really not much of a point. Um, it's just kind of more work. So just disconnecting them right there is good enough. Um, I went ahead obviously did the tops of all my struts. So this thing is really really close to coming out. The only thing we have left is to disconnect the brake calipers um, and the brake lines obviously. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and undo the line. I want to go ahead and move this over to stainless steel anyways. Uh, braided stainless steel. So we're going to go ahead and just undo the line here. Otherwise you could just actually undo the caliper and just like, I don't know, hold it up with like a bungee or something. Um, but that's looking all good. I'm going to go ahead and do the brakes and then we should be able to start dropping this entire subframe. Alright guys, as you can see over here, we have the whole suspension and steering rack and everything out. Um, it was pretty easy, um, granted we already had a lot of stuff out of the way and disconnected, um, but you can see everything's here. We can go ahead and just disconnect the outer tie rods now, and then I think we're just going to take off the outer tie rods, leave the inner tie rods, and then send off just the section and inner tie rods to get rebuilt, um, so that'll be nice and easy. Um, you can see it gives us a lot more space in here now along the frame rails and in the middle here so that when we go ahead and start painting, um, we don't have as much in the way. Um, that is going to be it for this week, but I think next week we're going to go ahead and try to remove as much of this stuff in here as possible. I'm probably going to go ahead and remove the radiator. Um, I think the AC condenser, I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to have to take apart this whole system, but we might do that anyways. Um, I went ahead and bought a new brake booster. It's going to be the S14 Super Slim one. Um, I believe that was... 1994 or 5, I'd have to check, and then the non-ABS version. Um, so that's in the mail, that's going to come in, that'll be super sick. We're going to go and pull that out. Um, I have a new Brake Master Cylinder, even though this isn't this isn't bad. Um, I already had a new one anyways because I needed a new cap, so I had to buy a whole one. So we'll just go ahead and replace that at the same time. But we'll pull a bunch of the stuff off next week so that we can hopefully start getting ready for sanding and painting and uh, hopefully it'll be really really good. There's a few things that I noticed. Um, you can see there's a, quite a large amount of rust. I mean it's, it's surface rust, it's not like an issue, um, but along like these seams here. Um, on the other side you can really see. Let's come over here real quick. You can see these are actually from when I remounted my ECU on the inside. Um, I had to punch out some holes and they, they went ahead and rusted up. And then this seam here is obviously just pretty gross. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and wire wheel all of this off. And then we're going to go ahead and put some seam sealer on it, some new seam sealer. And then we'll go ahead and paint over that as well. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing this part of the wheel well here. Um, in paint. I think I might go ahead and sand it down and then just do a new coat of uh, undercoating, rubberized undercoating. But we'll see. We'll go ahead and kind of take that as it goes. I think this part here looks fine. I don't think we need to do it, but I think we might just do it in like other than, you know, spots like this. I think we might just go ahead and do it anyways, um, just adding another layer of protection on top of what's already here. Of course, we got to clean it up and everything, um, but that's not going to be too hard. I think we'll go ahead and remove the headlight buckets um, and just really s just strip every single thing that we can out of here. Um, I haven't decided what we're going to do with this yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and take it off, but I don't really know what these plastic rivet things are. So we might have to go ahead and get a little inventive with it. Um, but overall, I think we made a lot of progress. I didn't get too much done this weekend. I was only here for one day. Um, but I think this is a really, really good start, and I am super excited for what the possibility of this is going to be, um, just really how good it's going to be able to get. It's definitely not like putting it on a car rotisserie or anything, but it looks really, really cool um, being able to strip everything back here, and then uh, hopefully it's going to look really good once we're done. So. Um, that's where I'm going to leave you guys today. As always, if you have any questions about what I did, drop a comment down below, and I'll see if I can hopefully, hopefully get a video for it. Um, if not, I'll just go ahead and make some words and type them out for you. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a good week.